Hey everybody, it's John King and it is Saturday the 2nd of April and here is my weekly mortgage market mortgage industry update. First of all, interest rates are pretty stable. They actually came down a little bit. It's the first positive week. Overall rates came down. Some went up a little bit, but the bottom line is they didn't skyrocket last week and that's the first time in the last month that we didn't see a significant increase in interest rates over the last seven days. That is a good sign but it also might simply be because of the end of the month and certain trades that happen with mortgages um, that get reset at the end of the month and the end of the quarter. And really what this has to do with is the bond market, mortgages or bonds, having to have bond traders sell certain bonds at the end of the quarter so that they meet their required liquidity, they meet their required balance sheet numbers, um, very, very complicated, super simple answer is they make trades at the end of the quarter so that their quarterly reports come out and they meet what they're required to hold in their holdings. Um, that really led to uh, a reprieve in interest rates. We're hopeful that's going to continue. But again, life is not built on hope and hope is not a strategy. But we're still hopeful that interest rates start to see a little bit of a reprieve. If you want more details on interest rates, check out the video I did last week on why and what the real reason is why interest rates are going up so much. I'll put the link to that down below. I'll actually have it over here on the playlist as well. So you can click through any of the videos on the playlist. Speaking of videos on the playlist, few videos that I want to point out. First of all, watch all of them. They're really, really good. I just recorded today a video about are we in a housing price bubble? I've got a lot of people asking me that question. Are prices going to crash like they did before? Are we in a price bubble? There certainly are a couple of things that are happening right now that sound a lot like how things were going in the early 2000s. So watch that video and I'll explain to you my thoughts on whether we're in a housing price bubble and where we're going from here. Other videos I did in the last week, um, I want you to make sure that you are watching my Business Booster se series every Thursday afternoon at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time. So last week I did um, how to get your offer accepted. So tips to get your offer accepted is what I did last week. Um, upcoming week I have um, how, and, sorry, I had to look down and see my notes. Upcoming week I am talking about fear and strategies to help your clients and yourself deal with fear and not be paralyzed by fear. So definitely sign up for that Business Booster webinar. Uh, this coming Thursday, we're talking about fear at 1.30. And then my Financial Fridays, that's focused on homeowners, home buyers, um, your clients, my clients. Uh, that is going to be, uh, first of all, I just did one on first time home buyers and tips to successfully buy as a first time home buyer. And next week I'm doing a webinar on, or my Financial Friday, on investment properties. Tips to buying investment properties, things you need to know, reasons you shouldn't buy investment properties. So really, really good information that I'm gonna be covering there. Finally, I wanna talk quickly about being intentional versus accidental in life and in business. We often let things happen to us. And I think we have to slow down and say, wait a second, are we really taking charge of our future and being intentional about it? And I'll talk about business and I'll talk about the real estate industry as a great example, as a realtor can choose to say, hey, I'm not getting any business, or they can say, I'm going to go out and create opportunity. So think in your life, think in your business, what things are you being passive about? What things are you letting happen to you that you can choose to make a difference? You can choose to reach out and call somebody and start a conversation. You can choose to send an email to somebody or to record a YouTube video and educate people to make proactive decisions to go out and get business, to create opportunity, to create the life that you want on purpose instead of just crossing your fingers and hoping that it happens accidentally. Thanks for listening. I hope everybody has a great week. Uh, continue to watch my stuff. Check out all the videos that are over here in the playlist. And I'm looking forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.